Question 23. Uh, a, B, C, D is a square, which is not accurately drawn. P and D are both points on the Y axis. A is a point on the X axis. P, A, B is a straight line. Uh, the equation of line that passes through points A and D is Y equals minus 2X plus 6. Find the length of P, D. The only information that actually tells us is that the gradient is minus 2 and it crosses through the Y axis here at 6. So now we just need to know what this point here is. There's quite a few different methods you can do to solve this question. It's quite tricky. Uh, the way I would approach this problem is to say what's the equation of this line because it's at 90 degrees. It's a line which is perpendicular to this line over here. So we've got y equals uh, to find the gradient which is perpendicular. It's a negative inverse so that's going to be a half x plus a constant value which we don't know and that's why the p is but we do know that they both cross the x axis at the same point so if we want to find out where point a is what we have to do is say right y is equal to zero so uh, minus 2x plus 6 equals 0. Rearrange that gives us 2x equals 6 therefore x equals 3. So that point there is where x is 3. Across there is 3. So at this stage here now I know that the x coordinate there is 3 so 0 again because we're still on the x-axis it's equal to half of x so half of x this time is one and a half plus c so c equals negative one and a half so we've got y equals a half x minus one and a half because I've substituted in my C value. We know that on this place we're trying to find Y, so X is 0. So Y equals a negative 1 and a half, saying that the total difference then is 7 and a half. Difficult one, that one.